how to fix sound not working on MSI monitor. And now before we begin with any settings, make sure your monitor is properly connected to your PC via a HDMI. This is the HDMI cable or a display port cable as these carry both, you know, audio and video signals. So if you're using a separate audio cable, make sure that is securely plugged into the correct port. Now that we have that out of the way, what I want you to do is I want you to verify the audio source. So on your computer here, you want to come here at the bottom, right? You'll see the speaker icon. What you want to do is you want to right click the speaker icon in the taskbar, and then you want to click on open sound settings. Okay. Now, once this opens up here, this is your, you know, a default output for your sound. What I want you to do is I want you to come here and select, you know, the MSI monitor as the default audio output device. Okay. That should usually fix the issue. If that does not fix the issue, what you can do is you can go ahead and adjust the monitor's audio settings. So do this, go press the menu button on the back of your monitor to access the on-screen display menu. And then you just want to navigate to the, you know, audio or sound section and ensure that the volume is not muted and it's all the way up. Okay. Make sure you do that. Now that we have that out of the way, what I want you to do is update your audio driver. So on your PC, come here at the bottom left, right click on start and then click on device manager. Okay. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be updating our audio driver. So you can come here and expand this option right here, audio inputs and outputs. Click on this. Now find your monitor, right click on that and click on update driver. Okay. Then click on search automatically for updated driver software. Go ahead and install the updates. And what you can also do while you're at it guys, right click on, on the start button, click on settings. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be doing. Basically we will be updating our operating system. Click on update and security. Now right here, if you see any update for windows, go ahead and update that because you want to ensure that your operating system is actually updated to the latest version as you know, outdated software can cause compatibility issues. Now the last fix, okay, would be to, well, this is just to make sure that the problem is actually with the device or not. So you connect another device like a laptop or gaming console to your MSI monitor to see if the issue still persists. So this can help, you know, identify whether the problem is with the monitor or the connected device. So it's really that easy and simple guys. So I hope this guy provided value to you. And if it did, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to find a solution. And I'll see you guys in the next one.